I was reading through a report from Imagine Canada talking, it was called Charity, Sustainable Funding and Smart Growth and um, talking about what is called the social deficit. And this is when needs in the community aren't being met by the social sector. And so he identified a growing social deficit uh, over the coming years as revenue from charitable organizations and nonprofits such as First Lutheran Church. He includes faith communities in that group. And what came out was that uh, we have a lot of work to do in, in terms of uh, revenue generation. But what I also saw was we also have a ton of opportunity uh, to make a real impact in the community. One of my goals, and I've shared this with you before, and it's part and parcel with the building project and other uh, programs and uh, activities we have going on, is that in five years, I have, okay, don't ask me how I'm gonna do this or how we're gonna do this, but this is my goal for us, is to have revenue generating activities that meet our overhead so that offerings can go to mission. Because I know that you know, people don't get terribly excited about, hey, I'm helping keep the lights on at my church, as opposed to, hey, I'm helping feed hungry people in our community. Two different things. And so um, I also want to include missional activities as revenue generating activities. So the two, I want them to work together because my, my goal for First Lutheran Church is that we will be self-sustaining as well as we will be known for having a tremendous impact in the community. And we are already starting with that. Uh, our tax clinics are one area, and from the cold is certainly another area. When I talk with people in the community who have heard of us, they know us from our activity in the community, the social service um, projects that we are engaged in. And these are the things I want to build on. Last week, a couple weeks ago, when we had our strategic planning and board governance meeting with council and then with staff, we identified a whole whack of stuff we want to have done. I said, what's a perfect church look like for you in five years? And we came up with, what, about 20 different items or so? And so we're going to be looking at those. That's going to make the bulk of our council meetings until the AGM, which is on November 19th. And then we're going to bring it to you guys to vote on. So this is something we will be doing together. Because one thing I found really interesting and really encouraging about my meeting with council and meeting with um, uh, staff, with all you folks, is that there's two things that I think are really important characteristics that are quite unique about First Lutheran Church. Number one, you are not afraid to take a risk. You are not afraid to be creative to reach out into the unknown, start something without knowing how it's going to end. And that, I think, is a real gift that you have. The other one is that this is a congregation of mature Christians. When I talk with you folks, you guys aren't afraid of having hard conversations about difficult topics, and that is rare in many Christian communities. And so those two items, I think, give us a, lot, a strong place to start from and a strong place to grow from. So as we meet over the summer, as we plan for the new program year, as we plan towards our next uh, year after our annual general meeting in November, I'm looking forward to see what God will be doing with each and every one of you. And I'm looking forward to see what God is doing with us as a community. Because when I look out at this congregation, I see a group that is wildly gifted a group that can really make a strong impact in the world around them and a group that wants, that wants to make a strong impact. And I'm going to harness that energy so that each one of you will be able to say, yes, I'm part of a community that serves others in Jesus' name. Amen.